Hello everybody, all over the world. Hello, I'm GPS, and I am a caster. Yes. <laughs> Joke for next video stuff. You, you've seen that already, anyway. Uh, right now we're, we have this little trumpet here. It's the Beggar's Bazooka, and new weapon came in the pirate update. Uh, current stats is that you can load three rockets and then fire them all at a burst. And the rockets have like three degree random projectile angles, so they don't go exactly where you aim, and they go like kind of like. Psh, 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 psh. And the longer the distance, the, the the more it matters that you won't be able to hit anything. And it sh it like before you can start shooting, it takes a bit longer to do that. So that's the episode for today. We're gonna look into that today and see if it's really worth using or not. So we're just gonna go into the first replay here, and this is me on payload Badwater of all things. Yes. So, uh, one thing about this weapon is that you cannot pick up ammo from dispensers. You get health, but no ammo, so all ammo has to be from fallen or ammo crates. Yes, alright, so, and then you got crits? Get them! Yeah, starting it off with the lice and large. Getting a bunch of crit rockets, not really hitting anything, taking out a heavy as a sentry down there. It's gonna keep shooting, and you can see there's absolutely no reload, so you can shoot as long as you like. Now we do a little funky jump here, we'll cover that later. How you do that? I'm just gonna be shooting, shooting. You see, there's no reload. We can just keep the pressure up, taking a lot of no damage. We're just doing a lot of damage instead, rather, and then falling back. So uh, there we have a little burst there and taking out the pyro. You can see we're, we're loading our weapons and then shooting a volley of three rockets at a time, getting some crits here and there. And this is Gold Rush, not Bad Water. Yeah, I'm just checking if you guys are awake because I know I am. And. Having a pyro, gonna jump. Oh, trying to air shot. It's kind of hard with that random projectile. Oof! Whoa, that was pretty high. So yeah, we're in the back here, and now nothing can stop us. We got Uber. You can't kill me. And oh, okay. Let's get the sentry gun. Sentry gun goes down. We're doing pretty good. Doing a ton of damage. The sniper there. He's not gonna be able to do anything about this man. We're just gonna shoot rockets all over the place, killing absolutely everything. The reaching, the havoc, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then jumping back. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I bet you did. And uh, shooting some rockets uh, here and there. We have a couple of medics with us. Doing a ton of damage. And, uh, yeah. You can just see we're doing a ton of Using the shotgun and the equalizer with this uh, Beggar's Bazooka here. Power comes in, and we actually ran out of ammo, so we had to use the shotgun, but that's the way the shotgun is good. If you're rockets, you can use a shotgun and stuff like that, yeah. So, uh, I'm still being on the high ground, no basic soldier stuff, and just killing absolutely everything with this build uh, of just using the Beggar's Bazooka. Being really powerful, especially here. And, uh, yeah, we're having a couple of competent medics who just heals us, and only us, uh, it looks seems like. And getting another pyro as well, and we've been killing a lot of people in this replay so far. It's a heavy there, and uh, we kill him. Uh, you can shoot three rockets at a time. That's over 300 damage, man, and you're gonna be able to kill a heavy with that. We have crits popped again. We're not gonna play the awesome music. This <laughs> is the second time this replay getting a medic and a heavy in one rocket. Or that one heavy, one medic, one rocket. Yeah, killing absolutely everything. Just doing so much damage. And uh, then we overextend a bit too much, and then we burn, and then we die. But, um... If you take a look here, we had uh, 17 kills in this one life. So, yeah, that was a bit introduction to the to how much ownage potage you can do. And we saw it from the best possible angle that we could, because this weapon is really good when the opponents are coming at you. When you are in a defensive position, and you can stay on the high ground, and you can you don't really need to like rocket jump and all that stuff. It's actually pretty good. Uh, so with that, let's go on to something that's completely opposite of what we saw, and just having a hard time because uh, we're going to be seeing uh, you should submit a replay this time. We have a lot of those. Thank you guys for sending in those. They were awesome. And uh, we're going to be seeing who is this? This is Ale. Soldier for blue hair on viaduct, and he's going to be using the market gardener, Bigger's bazooka, and the gunboat. So that's pretty interesting. So he's going to be doing that. No team has no medic whatsoever because because uh, it, I don't I don't know why I don't have a medic. So he's going to be jumping, and the thing is, like, it takes a bit longer before you can shoot. So you have to plan a lot more with this, uh, especially with the rocket jumps, because the rocket shoots when you let go of the mouse button, not when you press it. It's basically how it how it does. 
So you can load three rockets. If you load the fourth rocket, the rocket will misfire and it will actually explode on yourself. And you will actually go flying and you saw me doing that in the last replay. We're gonna go dedicate a special replay just for that. Because there's uh, like pretty good... Uh, yeah, and they have like five pyros, which is good. Uh, the one spy is gonna have a hell of a time getting up past all these guys, if you know what I mean. And here we have like a soldier. He's like... And then we have a sniper here, and usually it would be no problem to like get at least some damage done to the sniper because the rockets usually go where you aim them. But just look at this trajectory; they just go missed completely, and that's the whole uh, downgrade to it. Like you really have to be so close that the random projectile angle doesn't really matter. And nice market gardener kill. To follow it up is like yeah, if you can't hit you with rockets, I'll just fucking jump on you and hit you with the shovel. I'm seeing a demo man down there as well. And if you just click the mouse button pretty fast, like you do with the demo man when you shoot the pipes or do the stickies, uh, you're gonna shoot pretty fast. And you can actually shoot for a real long time, so it has the same amount of rockets. Um, not as many, you have 24 usually, but this one only has 20 because, you know, you can't have anyone in the rocket. You're just putting them in as you go, like you see. And you can see it's just really hard to just aim correctly with this, especially at the larger distance. But, like, right here, it's really good, like this. Okay, it's kind of too far away now, but uh, the distance, if the, let's say if the demo man is there, you being in any kind of distance between, oh, I don't know, uh, let's see if you want to see the mouse. Yeah, you want to see the mouse, don't you? If, you? if you're, like, this close, kind of, it's really good. But further away than that, you start to miss a lot more, and it's going to be really hard to connect the, due to the fact that they actually have a three-degree uh, variation on the projectile arc. What you think? Is that what you call it? And uh, some people in chat also calling a giant tube of spam. That is absolutely right. You can. S this is a very spammy weapon because um, you can't really do precision shooting. And if you can't do precision shooting, it's a spam weapon. So yeah. And we're seeing like due to the fact that he is using this, even though he's using the gunboats, his mobility is very reduced due to the fact of how he works and that he shoots slower and all that stuff. And now he's out of ammo, and all he has is this market gardener. So this is Mr. Uh, Ale here, uh, having a bit of trouble as he's absolutely out of ammo. There's, he picks up an ammo kit and there we go, switching back to the Beggar's Bazooka. Doing the damage he needs to do. They're still holding the point here. And there comes the Spy. And the Spy just goes down immediately and he jumps on himself as well. And the pirate's like, yeah, just standing here. And he's like, you're right, fence, good. And then he just keeps uh, moving on. So yeah, he's just going to wait for this health pack because... Oh, now they actually have a medic. What? What? They, they have a medic. There's, there's a medic on the team. There's a hope for this world. We actually got a kit kill there. That's actually pretty nice. And I'm being stunned there by um, the scout, and the scout comes on and gets him. And you can just see by scouts being a slightly further away, it's actually a lot harder to hit because rockets just go like random. So, there, that's the problem with attacking, because the enemies will flee away from you when you are attacking, and you have to position yourself after what they're doing, because usually the guys who defend uh, has it easier than, than the guys who attack. That's just how it is, you know. And anyone who's been, been into the army and ever had a brief ever knows that um, in order to kill one person that's defending, you need three guys. To kill that one guy that's defending if you're attacking this that's the army stuff and that's 9 tf2 but basically you need more for attack than for defense pretty much um so we're gonna go into the next replay and i of course completely forgot what this was about but uh we'll figure it out eventually this is a uh, chain here submitting a lot of replays here and he's gonna be on gorge and i remember exactly what he's gonna do he's gonna show us how powerful this thing is against sentry guns and uh the if, if you watched the previous uh, high GPS, you know the skill to not be seen. Um, so he's going to be doing uh, shooting on a volley of rockets and be rocket jumping around. You can rocket jump, but you just have to rocket jump differently because you have to prepare a lot more. And you can also do some really, really, really funky stuff with this. So uh, right here, we're, we're on Gorge. We're going to cap this last point here. And there's currently two sentries down there. Uh, they have a couple of demo men, but they're not doing very good. So he's going to be jumping down here. Here comes Chain and oh, gets the sentry with a couple of rockets. He's running the buff banner as well. And uh, we have a couple of engineers here, and they're like, oh, where's the soldier? I don't, I don't know. Do you, do you see a soldier? I don't, I don't know. I see a soldier. And then he just runs around and shoots three rockets, and boom, everything goes down. And just showing you the power of the burst, making it really, really good to taking out sentry rigs and uh, stuff like that. Especially if you can get really close and just shoot the volley of rockets, and you have some overheal, and then you jump and take the sentry damage, and you just fall like way, 
way, way back over there after you do that. So basically the whole idea behind this trumpet uh, bazooka thing is that you need to be very close and able to hide behind corners because when you want when you fired your volley of three rockets if you don't hit anything you can either shoot one and one rocket at a time very very slowly or um you can charge three new rockets and then shoot that's what most people do uh, so it's just all about the burst and when you're doing the burst you really have to do the timing it's like you know you have a really long reload but it's kind of backwards in a way so we're going to be seeing a chain again here on Gold Rush! <laughs> no, this is uh, bad water. And he's gonna be using it defensively. You can just see why it's so good defensively. Because here's the thing. He is running towards the enemy, and the enemy is running towards him. And there's a pyro here, and this pyro is gonna die pretty quickly to three rockets, right? And he's gonna fire another rocket, grab some more ammo, and then he's gonna be charging three new rockets. And then when he has three new rockets, a new pyro shows up. While the pyro appears and dies instantly. And then there's a couple of heavies out here, and he's just gonna shoot Rocket here and gets the Medic, drops the Uber, shoots another, gets another heavy. Yeah, doing excellent work here on the defense. You see, using those corners, and due to the distance, they can't really get close to him without taking that uh, extra damage from the Rocket Launcher there. But here you see, he, like, like right here, inside here, excellent. The, uh, Beggar's Bazooka, so powerful. Really good. You can just kill everything because you're really close and you have the three rockets. You do about 300 damage really quickly. But once you start getting here and to this distance, it's getting pretty hard because of the way it uh, the angles work. And as you can see, like he, yeah, he didn't even hit anything with uh, with those three rockets. And you can see just at this distance as well, kind of hard, but getting a lucky direct hit there on the pyro. But it's just really hard to hit at a larger distance. And you're going to be shooting so many blank rounds where you shoot three rockets and hit absolutely nothing. And he's going to be falling back here, a uh, good choice, and just shooting some spam while he retreats. Sees a sniper, gets a lucky crit on the uh, escape plan there, and then he's going to be running back into spawn. So you can use this for uh, pushing, as you know, taking out sentry rigs, but it's not as viable as the regular rocket launcher. Uh, even though this thing has, like, no reload, literally, like, you can just shoot and shoot. Once you start shooting, you can just shoot forever until you run out of ammo. But, um... Yeah, like, it's like having the reload first before you shoot, while the rocket launcher stock has the reload after you shoot. Um, making it much more easier, and it's like, not like the, you know, it's easier to hit with the rocket launcher as well, because it goes exactly where you're aiming, and then if you shoot directly at a spy, and the spy has more health than you, and you're nearly dead as shit, you're gonna die so fast. Um, so that was on defense, we saw, like, where it was really good, like, when the enemies are, like, right in front of you. Like, normally in the rocket launcher, the rocket launcher is good at that distance, too, but the Beggar's Bazooka is just better in that situation. Uh, Beggar's Bazooka is by no means better than the stock rocket launcher, but there it, Beggar's Bazooka has its moments, man. It has its moments when it's just really good. And we're going to be looking at the Misfire rocket jumping, which I mentioned earlier, and we're going to be looking at that right now. So this is what it looks like when you do the thing. You charge uh, four rockets. Three, four, 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 and BAM! Yes! And then getting absolutely nothing. But that's besides the point. You saw how cool that was. He's using the gunboats. Uh, I think without the gunboats you can do, I don't know, two or three, depending if you're over here or not, before you're dead. But let's just look, look at it again, right? From a, a third person perspective. So let's just see at, at the amount of ground he covers, right? So he's gonna be going out here and we're just gonna go flying over here because we can, because we're like cameramen and stuff like that. So, um, then, he's, then he starts, okay, let's see. One, two, oop, three, four. Dude, he covers a lot of ground really fast. But then he's a really low health. We don't actually see how much health he has, but uh, he dies fairly quickly to that pirate. He probably had around, you know, like 50, 50 health left or something. But that's really cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, I, I've been trying to do that with, uh, uh, do that myself. And we're actually getting, there's actually something I'm going to call, it's called misfire bombing. Because that's when you load the fourth rocket and then you jump with it and then you turn around and while in the air, just go <laughs> launching a barrage of rockets upon your foes. But before we do that, uh, we're gonna look at a guy that fucking hates this gun, and that's Frostal, our moderator. The guy I tell to ban people who disagree with me. Because he's a good guy. He knows that I am always right. <laughs> so yes, uh, this is gonna be Frostal. He's playing on, um, the payload freight, and this replay is called Hate this gun, hate this map, and the medic hates me. 
And currently there's no medic to hate him. Because he is on blue and they don't have any medic ever. He's gonna be rocket jumping around. And you see it works a bit differently because you have to time it properly. Uh, it's not payload freight, it's actually uh, capture the point freight. But there's trains on him. And yeah. So right now we see he's at that distance where uh, you don't actually hit shit. Uh, you're just lucky if you hit or not. The scout is so graciously uh, providing Prosel with running exactly where he needs to be. Getting a spy here, but he's a dead ringer. You've got to be careful about that. And you see at this distance, the regular rock launcher, or any rock launcher besides the Beggar's Bazooka, is actually a better choice than this one because the rockets just go wherever they feel like and you have absolutely no control of it whatsoever. And if you hit anything, that's just pure luck. So we're going to be seeing Frost Lager being on the ground here, and it really removes a lot of mobility uh, due to the way it works. Because like when you're charging, you're like a sitting duck, it's so easy to get headshot and stabbed and burned and blown up and shot and all that stuff. So he's going to be going here for a little flank here and shooting a bunch of rockets and hitting... Yeah, well, yeah, I think he hit one guy and there's a scout here that decides to move and then move, move back or something. There's a scout, got the scout, and... Ooh, okay, uh... They got... Oh, oh, okay. And I'm getting to see why he hates this gun. He can't hit that scout. And then the scout goes down to a pyro of all things. And then he's going to use the escape plan and grab some health. Uh, nice little nerf there. by Val splitting the, the equalizer into two items. That's pretty good. And oh, there's a spy here. But he's going to be using the buff banner. And the buff banner is really powerful with this. At least on defense. He's going to be charging up a couple of shots here. And bam, bam, bam. Three rockets hitting absolutely nothing. And then a heavy comes around. And he spins it way too late. And he goes down as well. And oh, nice crit there, getting the scout and the soldier and barely get hit by the train. Oh my god, that train was so close. Gotta watch out for those trains, man. Those trains are f f deadly if they hit you. Doesn't matter if you're Uber or something. You know, most casualties on this map is not actually their train because the trains are just a fraction. But they do get kills uh, sometimes. And uh, sometimes it kills the entire team. So, gotta love that uh, fucking uh, train driver. So right now, he is if you've seen our weapon, that's because he's actually holding the buff banner. And if you've seen the buff banner episode, you know that if you have a full buff banner, you just keep holding the mouse uh, button. You can actually hold it for as long as you want and then uh, use it when you feel like it. So the medic here is just going to be like, oh, he... No, I'm not going to heal him. I'm going to run with his crossbow and be absolutely fucking useless. And it's popped, and he has now a buff banner, and he is now really viable. You really need to keep uh, Frostal alive now, medic. And the medic heals everybody, but... Frostal, it seems. Yeah, so he's gonna go through this corridor here with the rest of his team. His medic is opting to heal him. Never! And that's the medic heals him and he goes down. There he goes. He's dead as shit. And that's what happens when the medic doesn't heal you. You heard a chopper? I heard a chopper. Because I really like to live right next to a, to a hospital. So we're gonna look into the next replay real quick. It's a short one. Uh, the last replay there would showcase like how hard it is because uh, if you're used to using the regular rock launcher You'll actually do uh, very badly. So we're just gonna be fast-forwarding it up there a bit Okay, cool. So he's in the middle now Gotta be attacking rocket jumping with this And we're gonna switch to this view right now and let's see here He jumps down one right. Okay, let's see if we can slow this down. Yeah, okay. Who's that other soldier? Yeah, okay. Currently solid is a scout. I'm guessing this scout. So he's charging one rocket, boot, two rocket, three rocket, bam! Kills himself and the guy around him. Victory! That's pretty good. So yeah, uh, you can actually suicide yourself in. Just one, two, three, boom! Solid thing. Star you. That's a Pokemon. Unless that wasn't cursing involved. So yeah, uh, that was the user submitted one replace, I think. Let's see here. Do we have any more? Let's gonna load up the next one. Yeah, okay. So we've seen um, the Beggar's Bazooka. We're gonna see more of the Beggar's Bazooka because this is what this episode is all about. This uh, new weapon, it's very interesting. Uh, I think you can become really good with it, but it requires a lot of practice and you have to completely reposition yourself to what you're used to as a soldier and you're not as viable and as quick as you used to just because it just shoots so much slower. And okay, so we're gonna do the uh, shoot some rocks here, just doing spam. And uh, we're going to be on granary here, uh, going to be pushing out from last eventually. And we're just going to be seeing how that affects our play. Because normally as a soldier, we would usually be taking the high ground right now. Oh, taking out the scout and the soldier in a nice little barrage there. And here's the thing. 
The reason it doesn't allow you to uh, shoot from a dispenser is because you can just shoot like those three rockets with that kind of interval for as long as you have bullets. And if you stand next to a dispenser, if the dispenser were to actually give you ammo, you can just sh spam until the cramps kill you from your finger, uh, which will actually take a while. So right now we're, we have, we're out of ammo because we've been spamming so much and now we currently have 10 rockets. So one, two, three. Okay, currently seven left. One, two, three, shooting some stuff. Okay, we are running out of rockets slowly, but we're gonna keep grabbing more ammo because that's really important. That's because like kind of a dumpster, you like go around collecting a fallen ammo and stuff and you're not like rich and can get it from a dispenser. So we uh, kill a soldier here eventually. Yes, down he goes and there's an engineer here as well. And we have a medic here on a heavy with a robot hat, and the heavy goes down to instant. Uh, the medic starts healing us. We take out a soldier as well. So we've been cleaning up pretty well. And uh, let's see here. Ooh. And okay, there's a sniper shooting, and there's a little rig here. And Uber is pop. Nothing can stop you when you have Uber, man. Just dealing a ton of damage. Now you see the interval of not of just keep shooting. We're gonna be uh, charging up. And oh, there's more people there. Oh. Utter carnage, killing absolutely everything, pushing onto the middle with just me and my medic. Taking down so many guys. Ooh, so many dead for blue right now. And the medic seeing having a bit of a hard time hitting him right here. And he goes down because he actually ran into the rocket. And now we're going to capture a middle point here. Thanks to this uh, little push here. And uh, due to the fact that the enemy were clustered together and they were just inside the perfect range. And the medic goes down to that scout, and we take down the NG and the scout. And where we're out of ammo. Ooh, not good. Okay, we're gonna fall back. There's a soldier shooting rocks at us. You gotta fall back. Alright, run, 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 run. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, uh, how many been, how, how many have been in that situation? You see a health kit, you run towards it really fast, and you fucking land on it dead. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. That uh, happens to us all. It's pretty common in TF2, so don't worry about it. It always feels good, though, when you when you are the guy shooting him. It's like, oh, I bet you thought you could get a health back, didn't you? Well, you're dead as shit. You can't get the health back when you're dead. So uh, we are going to be sh showcasing what I mentioned earlier, the uh, Misfire Rocket Jump Bomb, which is actually pretty cool. And you can do a lot with this uh, of fancy rocket jumps. It just takes a lot of practice, and you just have to think very differently. So we're going to be, you know, doing the standard three rockets, one, two, three, and just look at this range of one rocket. He's here when he's here, while he's over there. And you just, the longer the distance, the more you'll miss. So uh, we have have a medic and the soldier up here, and this is interesting because uh, this is where I, I'm come at, come at, and misfire three rockets. All right, so let's just take a look at that again because that is a misfire rocket jump. So what you do is that you charge up your rockets like one, two, three, and on the fourth, you have to know the timing so correctly. When you put it in, that's when it misfires. So you put it in, you turn around, jump duck like you do a regular rocket jump, and then you fly. So we're going to be looking at it, what it looks like from my point of view when we do it. So there's one, two, three, fuck. Four, one, two, three, bam, doing the little bomb in there. And that can actually be pretty good if you want to jump in and do some um, do some damage. But keep in mind, this requires prep work. And you really got to you know plan this out. And it really has to work with the timing of your rockets. Because so many times, you're just going to be charging three rockets and just shooting it at absolutely nothing. But here's the thing. You saw me loading two rockets and not shooting. You saw that, right? Yeah, because you're smart. You saw that. And because I told you. Because here's the thing. If you run out of ammo and you have less than four and you just load the rocket and you're out of ammo, you can actually hold those rockets for as long as you like. So right now, I, ju I just have two rockets left and I have two in the, the magazine. And oh, one, two, and using the shotgun because I'm out of ammo and uh, just being shot the shit out of and gonna be falling back, having absolutely no ammo whatsoever on the rocket launcher, the Beggar's Bazooka. So we're gonna be using the shotgun in the meantime, which is, I know there's a little ammo pack here giving us exactly four rockets, so one. Too. I'm picking up some more ammo and some rockets. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, getting two rockets on the soldier. And Uber is pop. Gonna jump in and see if we can do some damage. There is not that many people here, but that doesn't matter. We'll just kill everything. Getting that soldier, luckily catching him inside the blast radius. And uh, yeah, ooh, there's a bunch of guys over there. Gonna be shooting up. And soldiers are not good at shooting up, uh, except if you're using the uh, Liberty Launcher or uh, you're just uh, really good <laughs> at shooting up, because uh, that's pretty hard. So we're just shooting at, you know, spammed, not hitting anything, but everybody knows we're here, and trying to get this medic, we just see it, this, this is just so hard, and we're gonna try and shoot this soldier, and okay, we gotta go on the point, it's a medic on the point, stay off from, oh, oh, okay, we almost had it, 
Almost. Okay, so that was uh, the game of the misfire jump. You can try and do that uh, by yourself. And uh, let's see. Yes, we're going to be doing a couple of more replays before we're going to wrap it up. And that is, we're going to be looking at the burst fire when you do the. That's when you, you know, three rockets. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to be on gold water. B bad water. B bad rush. <laughs> yeah, this is bad water. Currently on fire. Going to grab this health kit. And one, two, three. Poke down the corner. Three rockets. Bam, bam, bam. And then. You're gonna charge some rockets, so just shooting for a bit. You see, this is the when you just shoot and just keep pressing, getting a nice lucky crit there. One, two, three, shooting, killing a scout that just happened to be there. Two, three, killing a sniper. Bam, no chance. Then, oh, right, lock and load is fucking powerful. Fucking powerful. So, um, uh, if you probably use this weapon and you've been using burst fire a lot, like we just saw, like one, two, three shooting and using corners and stuff, uh, I'm gonna show you what like a standard game that nothing really special special happens when you use this. We're just actually gonna speed it up here uh, just to see what it looks like. So we're just gonna okay, one, two, three, bam, bam, bam. Okay, okay, shooting is not, not a spy. Okay, one, two, three, jump, bam, bam, bam. Okay, one, two, three, shoot, shoot, shoot. One, one, two, three, shoot, shoot, shoot. One. Okay, one, 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 two, three, shoot, shoot, one, okay. So you see, like, uh, there's a bit of a, uh, a pattern going on here, and that is that we just shoot rockets all over the fucking place. Like one, okay, one, 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 okay, two, 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 okay, one, two, three, I was a teleporter, one, two, two, one, two, three, two, 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 one, two, three, boom, 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 one, okay, I only had two rocks left, fine, shotgun, all right, more ammo, cool, one, two, three, da-da-da. Uh, running around, one, two, three, boom, two, three, shooting three rockets, it's killing, it's got one, two, three, shooting the rockets at nothing, one, two, three, shooting the rockets at a dispenser and stuff, and killing the soldier eventually as well, one, two, three, jump, boom, boom, hitting absolutely nothing, one, 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 and getting the scout as he hides in the corner, one, two, three, jump, misfire jump, okay, one, two, three, shoot at absolutely nothing, 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 one, two, three, oh, it's a pyro, shit! So that's usually what most people do with this weapon and that's fine because it's hard to like do everything uh with this thing so we're just gonna sum it all up with something i call a fancy jump and that's a rocket jump and this happened unintentionally but this you can do a lot with this if you can master this it's kind of like if you're like um like in, into energies and stuff and you finally just shoot like an energy ball and you have no idea how you did it it's kind of like this so well, okay, I'm do just watch what happens did you did you see how did you see it? No, no. You did. You did not. You did not see that. All right, let's look at it again then, since you didn't see it. All right, so here we are. Let's do it in a third person this time. And we're gonna be using the funky, funky, funky uh, robot chicken hat because it looks pretty cool on the soldier. And we're gonna slow it down actually, so you get to see what I did. Okay, so we charge two rockets, one rocket there, one rocket there, boom, and we actually jump once here and once here in the same blast. And then we actually get some extra height and we just shoot some rocket and heating that hits a health pack, I think. Yeah. So let's look at it again because that is something that you can try out and try to master because if you can do that whenever, you can get so much height. As a soldier, so let's just look at it, it again from another angle, which is pretty good. So we shoot a rocket here, boom, boom, and get so much height. Beam, yes, cool. So that's what I wanted to show. I, I didn't know what I was to call. It. I just call that a fancy jump. You can probably do that with three as well, and also with the fourth misfire rocket jump. Sure, we can do. So it's pretty good. So yeah, um, that was the beggar's bazooka. To sum it up. It's good on defense, not as good as on offense, because you have to plan so much more in order to do stuff. You have to, like, prepare three rockets and then shoot. And if you don't have anything to shoot, you just shoot three rockets and give away your position and let everybody know you're using the beggar's bazooka. And scouts in the air can just kill you so fast because you can't really hit anything. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. And everybody who watches this frequently knows what time it is. Do you know what time it is? I don't know what time it is. It's fucking 7.34. <laughs> I'm not talking about that time, I'm talking about the best time of the show, which is the raffle! Yes, so we're gonna be doing the uh, raffle again, and we have gotten 
Since people have figured out we have the raffle, I actually have more items than I'll be able to give out. So we're just going to give away one this time because I wasn't going to give away one. So we have a raffle time. Everybody that's in the chat stream and has a username is in the raffle when I grab it. So you still have a couple of seconds to make an ID and get in there. And also, um, it's gonna be. I'm gonna post this otherwise, but I, I'm gonna propose to the community how you want my beard to be because currently, my beard grows all the way from here to down here, and yeah. So if people want, they can submit uh, like a drawn picture of how you want my beard to be, because I just shave whatever. I've been having the same beard for like ages now. So I like I have a mustache and it does connect with the rest, so I can have a goatee and stuff like that, and yeah. Uh, people saying wizard beards, but those take fucking forever. But if you can like show where to shave and where not to shave, we can do that, man. You can do that if you really want to. So right now we're gonna grab the user list and bam, everybody is in. Oh, whoops, is in right now. Uh, probably want would not want to have like usernames as channel videos dashboard in there. And I'm gonna leave Frostel in this because he is he submitted and stuff like that. So that's nice. Did it jam? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we currently have 32 people. So then we go to our favorite website in the entire world, which is random.org. I did it wrong once, and we got into this family photo page. So we're gonna be a one out of 32. Cool. So we're gonna be bringing that up right now. Screen region, come on. Yes, here we have the true number generator in my, f not my face this time. Okay, cool. So we're, I'm gonna be looking away. I'm gonna be pressing this for a little while. Ruffle, ruffle, and the number is 19. And who is 19? That is uh, Rare Cola. Is number 19. So congratulations, Rare Cola. Please, please, oh, whoops. Please type your name, your Steam ID in the um, in the stream, and I will add you, and then we can get this underway. So congrats to him. And we'll be right back with the winner, if he's here. Otherwise, we'll just do a new raffle. Oh, look at that. Oh, and for the first time only, the uh, raffle man was not here. So, Rare Cola, too bad. You didn't type it in the chat. Didn't see it in time, so we're just going to go with a new raffle. So, yeah, uh, we're going to remove Rare Cola from the list, because he was not here. So, that leaves it only for 31. Yes, cool. So we're gonna be doing that right now, and uh, let's go on and get the raffle going once again. Screen region over random.org. Very nice if you want a random number. And we're gonna click generate. Generate, generate, and bam! 24. Which is Steeler Huji. Steeler Huji. We'll be back with Steeler Huji as soon as he types his name in the stream. And hopefully he won't be FK. Oh, right. You, you hope that's going to be uh, AFK. But yeah, you have that guy there. All right. So it turns out that guy was also not here. Well, that's one, guy's less, uh, one guy less in uh, the stream right now, so that leaves it only 30. So are we going to be doing that? And uh, since this is completely random and I don't want to break my finger, <laughs> we're just going to press, press random once. So here we go. Here we have the randomness. Generate 14, which is... Kaukopand, yeah. Kaukopand, you in the stream, man? You better be in the stream, because a lot of people is not in the stream. And we are back with the winner after two people being AFK, and it's actually the previous winner, so you get to win two in a row, man. That guy is lucky. So here's the thing you have to choose from. We got a lot of donations. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I forgot the name, but you guys, uh, we're going to have um, a, a montage about the, the, the guys later, eventually. So this is what you can choose from. Uh, let's see... Pow, pow. Uh, and I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Pick one. Pick one of these fine items being donated by the great community of this show. Yes. Cool, cool. Pick one, pick one. That is uh, your choice, I think. Yeah, if I'm not missing anything. Nope. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we have this one too. Yes, there we go. Boom. Bam. Oh, and this one. <laughs> Just adding shit as we go, man. He wants the strange rain blower. Okay, cool. That's fine. You can get that. Okay, 
There we go. Congratulations, winning again. So, hey, man, if you want items, just watch be in the stream, man, and be sure to be here when your name is called. That is all. So, we're gonna be trading that to him. Strange Rainblower. Nice, nice. From the power update and everything, and that's gonna kill the music. And, ooh. We're gonna be talking about what we're gonna be doing next high GPS, and for people who knows, uh, we'll be covering all the... the, um... New items from the pirate updates. What we're we gonna do is so it's gonna be the scout next time. We're gonna be covering either just a pistol or just a shotgun or both of them together, uh, seeing how they uh, work together. But mostly it's just the shotgun that is the most interesting because slower speed and then super high speed when you do damage and stuff like that. We'll see how that works. Uh, and a lot of people like the new pistol, especially the health uh, and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Sending replays to that and it, uh, like how to uh, how you want my me to shave my beard. Um, because if, if you're the only one that submits, that's the way I have to do it. But um, try not to do Hitler stash. Try not to do that. Anyway, I'm the GPS general problem solver, gangster playing slam global parking associate without the A. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to watch Meet the Caster that's coming up after this video if you're watching this on YouTube. Shagger rare, this weapon was fun and frustrating. <laughs>